Good morning and welcome to Redeemer Lutheran Church. I'm Pastor Gary Lodeholt. This week we're talking about angels and what we can learn about them from the Bible. There are a lot of popular traditions that have grown up about angels, but we're focusing on what the Bible tells us about angels because that's really our only good source of information. Yesterday we looked at angels in general and today we want to focus on one angel in particular, Michael. It wouldn't surprise me if you've never even heard of Michael, and that's a shame. Probably you've heard of Gabriel, our topic for tomorrow, but in fact, Michael is the preeminent angel in the Bible story. He's called an archangel, and he's the only angel given that position as the principal or great angel. Tradition says that there are seven archangels and actually includes Gabriel as one of them, but the Bible never calls Gabriel that. The others come from sources outside our Bible, things like the Apocrypha and other writings that do not have the weight of Scripture. The names of the traditional archangels are Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, Uriel, Raguel, Serakael, and Remiel. Nevertheless, the only one mentioned in the Bible as an archangel is Michael. Michael is the angel above all angels, also called the Prince of Heaven. Interestingly, the Bible never speaks of archangels, plural, but of the archangel. And Michael's name means, who is like the Lord. Michael is also associated with Israel as a nation. In the book of Daniel, it says, at that time, Michael, the great prince, the protector of your people, shall arise. Michael also appears in the book of Revelation, where he is seen as the angel leading the armies that battle Satan, the great dragon, and all of the demons. Michael leads all the other angels into the titanic battle at the end of time that will mark the ultimate victory over Satan and evil. And the Bible also tells us that Michael will be victorious in that battle. Many speculate that it was Michael who cast Lucifer and his fallen angels out of heaven. It is Michael who will shout to announce Jesus in his second coming. Not only does he proclaim the matchless and exciting news that Jesus returns, but he speaks the word of life to all who are dead in Christ and who await their resurrection. So, Michael is the only angel we are sure is an archangel leading the armies of God in the battle against evil and announcing the ultimate victory of Christ when he returns. That's a pretty important role for an angel you may probably never heard of, leading God's armies and protecting God's people. Once again, Michael's name means who is like the Lord wouldn't you like that said of you? Thanks for watching, and remember to let this day belong to God.